Hey there, and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. Now, a lot of attention is being put on the markets, and when the Dow dropped 700 points like it did one day last week, or the 300-point drop that we saw yesterday, well, that's bound to get a lot of headlines. But something even bigger is happening in the bond market. Now, in his latest article, talking about the Treasury bond breakout, Real Investment Advice columnist Jesse Colombo talks about tracking the so-called smart money, which has been buying up bonds. Now, take a look. When you look at the 5, the 10, and the 30-year bond, you can see that since September of last year, they've mostly been on a downhill slide until the end of February. So let's focus in on the 10-year note. The others seem to kind of follow a similar pattern. You can see how around the end of February, a triangle pattern starts to appear. The daily highs were still dropping, but the lows were actually climbing. And then over the past several days, bonds actually broke out of the top of this triangle. And when you actually look up here, you can see how bonds are closing in on that longer breakdown line that was started last September. And as you know, when bond prices go higher, well, that means that yields go lower. And sure enough, take a look at the drop that we have seen over the past seven days. From 2.93 to 2.77, that is a 5.4% drop. So why the rush to buy bonds? Well, it could be that the smart money, the commercial futures hedgers, they're all looking for something a little more steady as the stock market becomes more volatile. But that doesn't mean that you should rush in behind them. This group actually tries to anticipate the tops and the bottoms, and sometimes they're wrong, and sometimes they can afford to lose that money while they are making their corrections. But you need to watch these moves closely. Now, you can take a closer look at these charts and see how also these treasuries connect with the crude oil market by checking out Jesse's post at realinvestmentadvice.com. In the meantime, that's it for me. Please remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube page. I'm Mike O'Neill, and we'll see you again in a couple of hours.